46 years ago next week, the great Phil Nicholson era at Tottenham opened with a 10-4 victory over Everton. These days, defences aren't as generous. Nigel Martin hasn't conceded a league goal in just under seven and a half hours. His old Leeds pupil, Paul Robinson, has led in just one in that time. Everton enjoying their best Premiership start, make one change. Leon Osman returns after a groin strain for Steve Watson. Atuba and Simon Davis return for Spurs. Canute has a hamstring injury. Up front it's Defoe and Robbie Keane who hasn't managed a Premiership goal this season. Spurs haven't scored in the league since August the 28th. Is Graham Paul. His six Premiership games so far have produced 15 yellow cards and one red. And Everton in the dark shirts, kicking from left to right towards the Gladys Street end, get us off and underway. There's an autumnal slice on the wind, a cut to the pitch, and anticipation in the air. It took Everton until December the 13th to muster the. 16 points they have so far their best start since 1978 but Spurs do have a good record against them good week for Bill Kenwright confirm that new investment in the club will arrive up to £28 million although against reports you will have read and seen not all of that money will go to David Moyes he will receive some he's happy with what he will get So unluckily left out by England next week. The two were back in the side, kept it in. Carsley. Then just drag King out wide. There's no really in the middle. Good run though by Beck. Still going. And Graham Cole says no penalty. King was off balance, played the ball. Contact did Edmund get on the Everton forward? He's on the edge of the penalty here, Grand Ball. He had a good view. Amazon to Cahill. Then wants it at chest high. Too high for him there. But still a corner to Everton. He'll be dangerous in the air here. Four of their nine goals this season have come from headers. Amerson has bent in on the goalkeeper. Watch for the run of Tim Cahill here. Kilgan goes to the near post. It's aimed at Cahill. Amerson again. Dummy by Carsley. Kilgan nearly got a touch. Davis away. Difficult to deal with! Off the woodwork! Cahill, that man, again in the air. Scored at Portsmouth last week. And gets forward to great effect again. Flicked the outside of the post. Climbed and hung in the air. Tuba. He's lost it in a dangerous area. Gravison back to Cahill. Makes space for himself. Osman, great save, bent over. Really good save. And the Everton crossing has been so dangerous. It was Cahill, point blank. Really good stop, Robinson. Lovely cross by Cahill. Osman was in there. Santini will be worried by that. Matuba. Graham Paul, and that's good referee. Noticed a little knock off the ball there. Stubbs again looking for Kilban, he's in behind Pamero. The goal won't come for Kevin Kilban, he hasn't met it since last February. 
controlled it well and flashed the cross shot. And box. Both clubs have now had a strong penalty play. Defoe is nudged there by Carsley. Regains his footing. That's a good turn again from Weir. And that's the Bistoni challenge. Did he go over a leg? Did Bistoni rather rashly leave a leg dangling? See it from this angle. And I think. He was jumping, to be honest, Defoe. Both sides have had a good shout, though. Mendes. Back to Defoe. Robbie Keane's made the forward run. All that precision. It comes through to Keane. Now he's offside. Defoe. The flag is raised. Keane. Was he offside? Or was he played on by Hibbert? I'll tell you what. The chance should have stood. Nil-nil at half-time, Timmy Cahill hitting the post with a header. Bent Forty should have had a penalty for a foul tackle on him. And what's happened there? A two-burn Hibbert and Weir? And that's all got untidy and unnecessary. What has sparked that off? Hibbert wrestled it back. Tuba's persistence has won it for Spurs here. Simon Davis. And that's a good run. And that's off Stubbs. Direct play from Simon Davis. Good to see him back and fit. And in short to Davis. Keane is on the side. Everton was slow to move out. And they could pay. And they have paid. And it's Noé Pamarok. And just switched off and the Frenchman has his first goal Evidence stayed in there and a good header by Pamaro that's the first goal they've conceded in 496 minutes of top flight football Everton Turning away from Red now. Ravison. Give it a little bit of space. Osman. Found the space off the upright. Gilbert and Pamaro got back at him well. Just got in there, the Spurs goal scorer, to maintain the lead. But for the second time in the game, Everton have been denied by the woodwork. as it went through unlucky Leon Osman Tuba's header Stubbs ooh and a clash of heads Osman and Edmund Groggy to his feet and I think Mendes is saying sit down he doesn't know where he is. Ooh. Real bash. Hammer up. Oh, Jamie Redknapp there has gone up. Over the ball on Cahill.
and Cahill in a great deal of pain. Oh, that's a bad tackle. That is a bad tackle. He's not a malicious player, Jamie Redknapp. But he caught him high. Concern written all over his face. is lingering and I wonder if that will put him out of Australia's World Cup qualifiers against the Three Solomon Islands, Islands. towards Ferguson way by neighbour we are pressurised by Defoe Defoe stings in. Mark Horsey, the fourth official, very quick in. And rightly so. And there has been an undercurrent in this game since the kerfuffle at half time in the tunnel. Another booking. It certainly wasn't a control challenge by Jermaine Defoe. He was annoyed there. And it's a two-footed challenge, and he jumped into it. Last time they went away in the Premiership, they were accused of parking the bus in front of the opposition goal. Today, I think they've got a speedy getaway car for a bit of a smash and grab rate. And this is key. Have sewn it up. 